We're at Owlywood Bowling Club in Weaverham, Cheshire for the 97th British Crown Green Senior Merit Finals. Shropshire's Callum Raitt was one of the former champions on parade. South Yorkshire's number one Chris Brown was among the contenders, while Staffordshire were represented by Stuart Edwards. But the undisputed number one in the game is the 2003 winner, Gary Ellis. It's an event they all want to win. It meant everything, yeah. It'd be uh, something I've never won before, Keith. Uh, like, you know, I was runner up 2007, so if I got one better, it'd be, uh, be great. I think this one is the biggest one. This is the one I want to win most. Followed by the Champions of Champions and then followed by the Waterloo. So this means, to me, this means more than anything. What is your form like? It's in and out. When I'm good, I'm good, but when I'm bad, I'm also bad. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to give it a best shot, really. Phantom chances. I'm playing real good balls this season, probably the best balls I've ever played. So uh, I suppose if we keep that form going, I've got a real good chance today. Any any experience on Elmwood Greens? Have you ever I've, played them? I've never played these greens before, but the main green, which is where the finals are on, suits my game. I played really well there first game against a real decent player. So I've got to go on the tricky green now, but if we can just get through this next game, I have every chance after that. Well, it's one of the majors, really. You know, if you compare it, if you compare it to golf, you've probably got the All England, uh, you've got the Waterloo, you've got the Spring Waterloo, and you've got the Champion of Champions, and this, and this is one of them. So it's a, it's a, you know, it's a major tournament. Just come back off holiday late last night, so uh, we were going to try and get for a practice last night when I got back, but we didn't get back while well, so half seven, eight o'clock. So I thought I'd just leave it and sit on settee and watch Olympics. So the quarter-final draw pitching Simon Kaup against Chris Brown, Danny Barwise against James Davison, Paul Asson of Warwick and Worcester against Stuart Edwards and favourite Gary Ellis against Martin Gilpin. If I had to pick one, it would be one of the favourite. I think everyone tells me he's playing really well. He's a brilliant bowler, uh, Gary Ellis. But if, once he gets onto that, that, the, the, the easier of the two greens, he may find it a bit more difficult. I think the, the number two green is very, very difficult and uh, you know whoever was to win the tournament on there would, would really deserve it, whereas this one, it's probably a bit truer, um, you know, and it, it, it's probably a better green for me, but having said that, I may get hammered on it later, so we'll find out. I've been watching bowls now for 50 odd years and in all that time I've backed two winners of competitions. But if I'd got to pick one today, I'd have to go for Gary Ellis. He's been very, he was very lucky to win his last game. They always say at bowls, if you can win your bad game, get in with a shout. At the end of the day, you only beat Gary when he's only playing at 90% of his best, don't you? Because if he plays his best, you don't beat him. Talking about your strength there, do you think that that, that green up there might favour you better against Ellis? You, you just don't know. I mean, he's the best in the game, so I'm going to have to play my best game to have a chance. As simple as that. So let's join our commentary team of Keith Rudman and Andy Cairns for Ellis against Gilpin. So Martin Gilpin leading out at 16-17. Been mighty relieved, Andy, to have stopped the rot there. Absolutely, he was looking uh, looking out of it with uh, Gary getting a nine break, getting him in, well in front. It's a match that swung both ways, this. 14-4 up Gilpin. 17-15 behind, and here he is at 16-17. He'll, be, de he'll be desperate to count this end, Keith. He will, needs to get back in the game. Needs to find, needs to run a little bit more down this hill. Good ball. Pressure back on Ellis. What do you do here, Andy? Well, exactly what he's done and strike at it. Oh, good hit. Well, cleared, what, cleared the end, Keith. That uh, means Martin gets to set the, the next mark. Nobody scores a point there. And Gilpin leading out again at 16-17. Up into this corner. That's his trademark, playing the corners. Yeah, he loves the corners. Plays on a very small green up in uh, Hale. Um, but he likes to send them. Ellis, not bother where he plays. Focused. On the job in hand. He's just pegged a bit tight there. Gilpin. 16-17. Lane one. Looking to make a double. It's just tight. And that's just pegged out. 
Ellis inquiring there whether it's one or two. Such concentration. Better rule this, Andy. Yeah, he likes the look of it. Just all about pace now. Not sure if it's going to stop. No, it's gone by a little bit, that. Gilpin, one. Well, 17 apiece, what a match in this quarter-final. Gilpin back into the corner again. Crowd don't know who's going to win. Good lead. That's what he wanted. Ellis looks like he's done all the work to come back from the dead in this. Here he is. Oh, that's rubbed it. What a great effort, though, that was. A little deflection off Gilpin's bowls robbed it, and Gilpin's won. He's got to be careful, though. He doesn't want to be too far and disturb anything. He's after it. He looks short to me. Not going to get there. No. no. One to Gilpin. He won't be short here. No, he'll be reaching up to try and move the ball of the jack. Needs to get past that short ball, though. Could be in the way. Line's good. Length's good. Two. What a ball. Absolutely fantastic ball. And, of course, that 19-17 now means he can, he can win the match at this end. Down the green edge, 19-17, Ellis. An excellent edge player, of course. He thinks he's too far. Mm. He thinks he's too far. Certainly looks like it. He's doing the trip, as they'll say. Opportunity for Gilpin. If he's going to win, he needs to beat those leads. He needs to punish them. He's played one here. Oh, pressure ball at 19, 17 down. Now then, Ellis. Can't afford to attack it too much. Got to keep a ball on the green. But he won't want to leave it a long way short and give him an easy opportunity for two. It's not a bad effort. Gilpin. Vitally makes two, Andy. Needs two. Got to put the pressure back on Gary. I think he's short. I think he's short. Well, here we go. 18 19, Gilpin leading out. Not a good one. Well, I'll be disappointed with that. He's led so well in these corners. And that's opportunity, Ellis. And when it knocks, he takes the opportunity. He does. All the pressures on this ball now from Gilpin. You can see all that hard work slipping away. Certainly reached further than his first. No. Well, fear the worst. Fear the worst. You can't give Gary a lot of room at the best of times, but uh, when he's playing like this. You can hear some cheers in the crowd. They know it's two. Martin Gilpin's out. Gary Ellis, 21-18, into the semi-final. So, the quarter-final results. Chris Brown beating Simon Cowp, 21-18. James Davison, 21-9 winner against Danny Barwise. Stuart Edwards, 21-8 against Paul Assen. And Gary Ellis, 21-18 against Martin Gilpin. Welcome back to Owley Wood and the 2012 Senior Merit Finals where we're through to the semi-final stage. Chris Brown is up against Stuart Edwards, but first Gary Ellis against James Davison and they've played each other before. I think that's right, yeah, I played James earlier this year and he, he beat me and he, he's, a, he's a good player so uh, I know I've got a very tough game, I'll, I'll try my best. On with the action then, let's rejoin our commentary team of Andy Cairns and Keith Rudman. 
James Davidson leading out at 7.19. It's fair to say he's got a mountain to climb here, Andy. <laughs> An absolutely enormous mountain. So, uh, bad start, 7 twos. Gary, phenomenal. Yeah. And he's had a fantastic season, James Davidson, won the Yorkshire Merit, which is so prestigious in that part of the world. And here he is in the semi finals of the All England. But he's come up against the game's number one, Gary Ellis. But he's still fighting, it's 7 19. He's got a lovely delivery. Beautiful delivery, very, uh, very smooth, very athletic, sends them nice, good player, highly rated over in Yorkshire. Now then Ellis, it's one down here, expect him to play up on this. Yeah, I'll be trying to make another two if he can. Certainly played up, looks on the bottom side to me, it's another one to James Davidson. 8-19 well all he can do is keep leading that block putting some pressure on Ellis yeah good lead uh, he'll be trying to make the score respectable that'll be his first uh, first aim and if he could get to 12 13 14 then he might think about about winning but he'll want to get 10 first well that's a fair lead into this corner forcing Ellis to be up but this man's seen it all before and done it. Now then. Runs a little bit into this corner, but I think Gary's left it short. He has. And now he needs to capitalise us, James. And he's got a bit of room here. Needs to put two in. Put the pressure back on Gary. Balls at Thongsbridge Bowling Club and Sandal. Sandal over near Wakefield. Well, he lies two. <clears throat> lies two. What can Ellis do here? Got to make sure he reaches. That's the first thing. Yeah. Well, he's running after it, but I think it's short again. He's never going to pass the jet. No, he's running the back of that. It's two. <coughs> uh, well, that's, that'll be his first aim got double figures feel a little bit better with that now at 10 19 correct you're in the same street you think you have a chance now got to do what he did before coming up this way played a good lead looks all right it's a good lead it is a good lead playing over a long distance here push out of that corner Ellis it's on the wrong end of a five break here and we both know that it's just as easy for somebody to have a break as you've had, isn't it? Absolutely. Only needs a few ends lapses of concentration. There's a five break gone in. James needs to lie another. Got to get past that bowl of Ellis's. Well, he lies two. He's made one. Now Gary sent three short balls. This is his fourth. Will he get anywhere near the length? Well, the crowd has said it's a bit further. Absolutely right. Look at that. Big ball from Ellis. Just when he needed it. Well, he's bowling back down here for game now. Not too shabby, that. I have to say that's a good lead at this stage of the game. And if James's task wasn't big enough before, it is now. Big effort. Good ball. Well, that was a pressure ball, Andy. Absolutely. He played it well. He stood up to this task well. He's here again, Ellis. Here again. Well, that to beat. Advantage, Ellis. There's not a lot of reaction from the crowd. Oh, it's just gone through. That's the game. And Gary Ellis once again into the final of the All England. So Gary Ellis, a comfortable winner against James Davison. Chris Brown against Stuart Edwards next. Edwards has never been this far before.
Yeah, yeah, I've normally took an early dive. It's uh, second rounds for this I've been before. It's, uh, have you played on these greens before? No, I've never seen these. Never seen these. I mean, I'll, Mel told me that'd suit me. But, uh, yeah, obviously I have so far. Confident? <laughs> you've always got to be confident, ain't you? I mean, you know you're playing against good players. It's how it comes off a couple of weeks here and there can make a difference. Uh, Obviously, you're regular with Stafford, you're regular with South Yorkshire. Have you ever played before? Yeah, we've played yeah. in County once. Yeah, Have yeah. Dalston, I think. I Stuart me won and somehow got my match. 21 20, I won. 20 10 down and ran out. And my first ever win for Staffordshire, it was. And the man of the match performance. Yeah, yeah. Best of luck to you both again. Thanks. So, cheers. Thank you. Back to our commentators then Andy Cairns and Keith Rudman. So Chris Brown leading out at 19-11. He needs two chokes to be in the final. It's a fair lead, is that? It's one of those balls you'd rather have than have to beat. Stuart Edwards. He's had a fantastic day. This is the furthest he's been in this comp. Two-time Staffordshire Merit winner. After it. Well, that's a big ball. Good ball. It's a good ball. Chris Brown. I hope he's reached. Well, Chris is after this one. Needs to miss his own. Needs to miss his own. Oh, terrific response. Nothing up with that one. But Stuart won't be able to see that for Chris's short ball. Yeah. Chris, the short ball was just covering it there. I'm not just sure that was the right shot, but uh, it's the one he fancied playing. So Chris Brown leading out, 2011. And he's playing back into this corner. Long way. Stroked it out. He always does, Keith. He's left it a little bit short. Stuart will sense there's a chance there. Good ball missing that. It is a good one. The man from Staffordshire's not done yet. I remember Chris cobbling one out uh, in a junior game against me about 20 years ago. He hasn't done it since. Has he not? No. Well, Edwards, chance to make two here. Must make two. Likes it. Yep, it's two. Two good balls, good response. 13 20. A couple of more of those, he'll be very happy. Yep. He got off to a great start, Stuart Edwards, he was 6 0 up, but then found himself 12 8 behind. And he's been battling since then to get back into this game. He's had no way back. Brown's locked the door. Needs a lead. Change of land here. Coming over the crown. Good length, but not on the road. No, got one, but not the other. This looks okay. Too much room there. Is that the bowl that will put Chris Brown in the final? Stewart's played, he's out. Chris Brown from South Yorkshire. He's through to the final, 21-13. So South Yorkshire's Chris Brown joining Gary Ellis in the final. Both of them comfortable semi-final winners. Join us after the break for the
tosses the coin for this, the final of the British Crown Green Bowling Association merit. The 97th time it's been held and it's Chris Brown from South Yorkshire leading out. His first appearance in the final against Gary Ellis, a previous winner. Will that be any advantage, Andy? Uh, maybe, maybe so. Bit of experience, knowing what to expect. Well, I don't think it'll bother either of them, really. Uh, just a fine, just another final. Have to say, his first advantage there to Ellis. Brown needs to find one here. Of course, these two guys are big mates, big friends. They are, they're playing pairs competitions together. They'll have played numerous times uh, to, uh, against each other. And I bet there's not a lot between them in the head-to-head. -head. Ellis firing, first end. Done the jack. Killed the end, good yep. start to the final. Start again. Both, of course, these lads won their respective county merits. Chris Brown winning the South Yorkshire one, Gary winning the Greater Manchester one. So, right, Battle of the Roses. Chris leading out into this corner. Perfect road. It's a good bowl. Got to be happy with that. Settle the nerves, that. I think that's half the battle with these finals. Get a good start, get the nerves settled, take it from there. Officials from the British Grand Green looking on. Chris going to lie for two. He's put that one a bit past. That's not in a bad spot though. Strike again for Ellis. Underneath. Well, first blood to Chris Brown. On the scoreboard. Both of these two today have struck really, really well during the course of their games. Of course, it is, um, you know, 64 competitors here today. From all over the country. These two are competing in the final. I think it's been a battle of the fittest today, given the, the varying weather conditions. Uh, playing on, on two fairly different greens. Doesn't like that, Ellis turned his back on it. Of course, firing's a big part of both of their armories. You mentioned it early, we've already seen it in this final. I would say Chris is, out of the two of them, the better, better firer, but... There's not a lot between them. Just touches his own, he lies two. Both about a yard off. Gary Ellis, of course, he's had the previous balls he sent in this final, he's struck twice, so he's been struggling for a length. Oh. <laughs> Just commentator's a, curse. Just got a glance off that ball there of uh, Brown's. 1-1. One, one. Well, he comes into this final in a rich vein of form, Gary Ellis. He's already amassed many titles over this season. I think it's eight so far. Yeah. Which isn't a bad haul for anybody. No. I just recently won the big... Classic at Hillcrest near Halifax. And he won that in a Canto finals day. Chris Brown, he's a prolific winner of tournaments over the years. You can see why that's a good bowl. Striking again. Good hit. Just been a little bit unlucky. Yeah. He's done what he wanted, but of course the block has ricocheted over to the left and really he's given Chris Brown too much room there and you'd expect a Chris to put one in here. And he has. 
You're struggling to kill the end, really, there, aren't you? Yeah, correct. He just uh, he fancied hitting it, couldn't really beat it. He's been unfortunate, he's played the right shot. Chris leading it for the corners. That looks like it could be the game plan that he thinks he needs to beat Ellis in the corners. It seems to be. Uh, Chris is a good corner player anyway. Um, Gary won't mind really where he plays. Probably go for the edges when he gets in, if he gets in. A little bit of room for Ellis. Putting on the ball just grinds it to a halt. It's a length ball. Just won it, but not punished it like he, he normally normally has been during the day. Give Chris a bit of a squeak to play a good ball here. Yeah. Chris just needs a little bit more in his first. Encouraging it on. He has done. Good picture there of Gary's unique delivery. Just looks on the tight side with this. Tight and short. Yeah. Well, he's not at a length yet here, Ellis. Three one, Chris Brown. Back into this corner. Not Another so good bad. ball. Not so bad. It's quite a few of his South Yorkshire fan club congregated in that corner. I'm sure they've had a few quid on him during the day. And at the start of this final, it was two to five Ellis, seven to four Chris Brown. Oh. So the bookies thought it was a one horse race. That'll just be way to money, Keith. They want the as Gary said before the start, there's not a lot between them. No. He was four to one favourite at the start of the day, Ellis. So there'll be a lot of favourite backers on him. Good ball, though. He makes two. I think we'll be seeing another strike here from Ellis. He's just explaining there. He's made it a big target. Ellis. Oh, he's missed on the bottom side. Missed again. Now then. Perfect start for Chris Brown here, 5-1. Great start for Chris, he'll be more than happy with this. He seems to have dropped into a bit of a rhythm with the length. Absolutely. And as we've seen, because of the way he's playing, Ellis has been forced to strike at three of the previous four ends. That's right, could just disrupt his length. You don't like to strike too often. No, it's a sign your opponent's playing well if you're doing a lot of striking. Indeed. <coughs> Another good lead. Yep. Ellis won't want to let him get too far away. Time for a response. This looks a good ball. Just as if when he needs it, he can go up a gear. He really needed to as well. Needed yeah. that ball. And he's, he's short and tight with this, isn't he? Oh, just overcorrected, really. Just narrowed it slightly, going over the crown, and it ends up finishing yard the other side. Opportunity for Ellis to get two back here. Certainly, the road looks right if he's got the length. Little bit more for another. Yeah. yeah just gone in, I think. Yeah. Three five. It's a vital end that if Chris had got further ahead, but Ellis stops the rot. Makes a double and leads the block. For only the second time in this final. Took him back in the corners too. Got the other peg. Looks a good lead as well. It's a very good lead. He's gone a few yards further as well than Chris went. Yep. Well. Just, just a fraction short. Gary will try and 
pile on the pressure now with another good ball. Not a lot of danger on a length. He's after it. Oh, he's not reached. The crowd are condemning it. They say he's short, the right. There's some good just good judges stood behind there. Brown playing up. Having a reach, you're playing at this. Ooh, just underneath. Ooh, bit of footwork from Ellis there. It's 4 5. Gary Ellis leading out. Well, it's what a lot of experts thought that this was a lot closer than what the bookmakers suggested. Certainly we do as well, Andy. Yeah, correct. I don't think there's a lot between them. Doesn't like this at all. Doesn't like this at all. Hmm. Only a yard or so so far. A little bit underneath. Unusual for Gary to be so demonstrative, really. Yeah, he's, he's uh, probably his own worst critic. I'm going to say he's not that bad a bowl in that corner, but Brown's put one in. You'd expect an improvement now. It'll have to be. He's after this. Likes it. Likes it. Big chance. What a good bowl. Whatever's happened, it's a good bowl. The crowd haven't said anything. He's playing up as always down. Yeah. He certainly reached tight. Tight. Well, I must assume that Ellis is on where he's played that ball. Well, that's a good lead from Chris Brown. Fought his way back into this game. He was 12-7 behind. 11-13. Does his team bowling in South Yorkshire and Yorkshire. Also the Woodlands Club at Doncaster. And Lower Hopton in West Yorkshire. That was Gary, of course, a teammate of yours. That's correct. Tong Bowling Club at Middleton. Oh, two great balls there. I'm sure we'll see Ellis strike here. There's no choice. Yeah, signal to the referee. He's playing through at this. On its way. Oh, done his own. Done his own. Leaves two to Brown. 13 apiece. Is that classed as Lucky, Keith? Well, he has a bit of a nickname as Lucky Brown, hasn't he? He does. I, I That's his name on the circuit, Chris Lucky Brown. There's one or two people that have backed him at a price today. He'll be hoping he stays lucky. But it's 13 apiece. What a final for one of the most prestigious tournaments in the game of Crown Green Bulls. Look at this for a good lead as well at 13 apiece. Pressure back on Gary now. He's pushing Ellis all the way here and asking questions of the game's number one. Well. As we've said it just runs a little bit into this corner. Nobody signalled who's on. Brown bowls on its way. just gone through not sure who's on here Keith I can't just tell from our, our vantage point I think at least it's just signalled he's on he'll, he'll be desperate to get a double he will he thinks he's too far he thinks he's too far can he prop that ball Ooh. 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 I don't know about Chris Lucky Brown it might have been Lucky Ellis there because he's made two the pendulum swings again. 15 13 Ellis. And Ellis preferring to go back into this corner, playing a longer mark. But he's, he's, well, disappointed with that. 
Brown will sense the opportunity here. Playing over about 60 yards here, Keith, I think. They are. We like, still expect him to get a bit closer than that. Chris yeah. has stepped in. Yeah, stepped in there, Brown. Now then, can he improve on the first bowl? Certainly farther. Certainly farther. Won it. That was a master class now to put three yards in a bowl, Keith. Yeah. The thing is, he doesn't do it very often because not normally three yards short. He is Brown. Can he do his own? Oh, oh. bit of a lean on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe that was the lucky bit back. Possibly. Possibly. He played the right ball, though. You've got to be up. He certainly was. And it's nip and tuck in this final. I don't think it'd be 2 to 5, 7 to 4 now at 14 15. Needs the lead. Well, that's not good enough. And nobody will know that more than Chris Brown. Doors open for Ellis. Just limp, will Got it? to miss it. Well, Chris will feel there's still room to get one in there. It's a packed venue here. There'll be over a thousand people here today watching this final. And there's nobody going home, there's nobody moving. Here's Brown. Winning bowl. Put a good four feet in his first. Back to Ellis, what can you do? His line to go level is Chris. Looks a decent pace, this. Yeah, big chance. Big chance. It's like two boxers exchanging blows here. Indeed, a bit of a sparring competition at the minute. 16-14, Gary Ellis. Of course, Ellis, already a, a former winner of this great title. And a three-time winner of the prestigious Waterloo. Don't forget the double champion of champions winner as well. Yep. In fact, I don't think there's anything he hasn't won. Leading out here. He's come out of the corner. He's gone to the middle of the green. Bit of a tactical switch. Look at this for a tactical switch. What a good lead. We're trying to break up Brown's length here. Yeah, just hoping to catch him to far, really. He's, he's probably going five or six yards shorter than they were doing. Oh! Yep. Signalling that that ball's won it. Ellis. Giving it a chance. Giving it a chance. Oh, unlucky. Collided with the jack, but just pushed it to Chris Burns' back bowl. Yeah, needed it full, really. That was the worst contact he could have got. So, Brown has a bowl in hand to make it 16 apiece. Can he make a double? World's right. Just to back, I think. Just to bar back. Oh, I think that might have pushed it out. He was probably just a few inches too far. He was. It's one to Chris Brown. It's 15 16. As we've said, you've got to make a good lead and force the pressure onto your opponent. So that's what the game's all about getting your leads in. Um, Caught to far, he was one or two up playing into this corner. It's probably the quickest part of the green. He's caught a lot out today. <laughs> yeah. Well, thinks he's got a chance with this. 
good ball. Good ball. Real ball, he needed that. Now then, what can you do, Ellis? Likes to be 16 a piece. Oh, he's playing with weight. Big shot at this stage of the game. Ellis, full flow. Fired. Hit. Mm. What a good strike. Tremendous. Tremendous strike. What a turning point that was. He's now 17 15 in front, where he's looking a bit 16 apiece. Again, come out of the corner, swung it back to the middle of the green, looking to catch Brown out with the pace. Over just coming, running off that crown down to the Jacks, played a great lead. What a good bowl. That just shot just shows you how high the crown is here. Yeah. Fairly big. He's caught him out with the pace. Yeah, you've got to get it up that slope and then it should run after. Yeah. Bad news for Chris is his own ball might be in the way. For him playing through the opposite peg now, so he's going to have to come round. Ellis will surely look to pile the pressure on here now. There again. There again, another good bowl. Oh, two good bowls, Ellis. As I said, Brown's own ball might be in the way. Yeah, he's fired above it. Well, you have to say that's a superb bit of tactics from Ellis there. He's pulled out the corners, swung it over the middle of the green and lies two shots away from winning this title again. It just shows less than two minutes ago, he lay to go 16 apiece. And now Gary can get game at this end. Yeah, a superb strike and a good lead and it swings round. Well, you'd be a brave man that would back against Ellis at this stage of a game, 19-15 up. Ellis likes it, stalking it, looking at it all the way. It's another good lead. Excellent ball. Chris, he has to make sure he's up. Has to play a reach, he won't want to go a long way past. Having a chance. Oh, unlucky. Oh, unlucky Brown. Gabby composing himself, just has to make sure he's on. And he's got the verdict he wanted, he's line one. And here he is, chance to lie game. Well, he's played a real and absolute real and. He's got, a he's got a strike. Got a strike, struck. He's missed. Gary Ellis, arms aloft, has regained this All England title. A superb display. And when he looked like he was struggling a little bit, one strike, two superb leads, and the game's turned around, Andy. Absolutely superb performance. Many congratulations, Gary. Commiserations there, Chris. Yeah. Three turning points for me in that. Three big strikes at big times that you hit, especially early on in the game over there when you like to go two in front. You struck in it, had about a five break off, it went 12 7 up. Yeah, I think that's right. I've uh, I've struck, like you just said, Chris, I've struck better than him, which makes a nice change, actually, because he normally bashes my balls all over the show. But uh, yeah, I've had a couple of ropey strikes, but the important ones at the right time I've probably hit, fortunately for me. Which during the day, Chris, most of your games today, you've had some fantastic strikes. Yeah, yeah, games. yeah, that's Big right. Big one in the semi. That's right, against yeah. Stuart, a four-shot swing, and then... But that's right. ...the other end today. <laughs> Gary's led better than I have in final. Yeah. And uh, a couple of times, early doors, I've not made a two when I'd perhaps ought to, and, and then sort of stay away him a bit more at the beginning. But he's a class act, you know, he's... Chris, you lose nothing in defeat. No. A fantastic final. Gary, just another trophy on the mantelpiece to you. They never stop. Yeah, well, you've got to, you know, if you, while you're playing well, you've got to try and do it. And, uh, you know, there'll be times where you're not playing well. So I'm in good form at the minute. You've got to try and take advantage. And luckily I have today. I was very lucky to win my last 32 game, though. Very, very lucky. As I said to you earlier, you've got better as the day goes on. I have as it happens, yeah. yeah. Gary Ellis, yeah. All England champion 2012. Nice feeling? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's always difficult to win these tournaments and, um, you know, I've been fortunate enough now to win it twice and this is one of the hardest ones to win, so I'm very Many pleased. Many congratulations, go and collect your trophy. Thank you.